we uh, <clears throat> we were coming from that side. Mm -hmm. We came in a car, myself and uh, Setu Raman's family. There were six of them, myself and, uh, and the driver of the car also. So uh, we came from there. The driver wanted to show this beach to us. You know, we were not planning, but the driver wanted to show this beach. We were actually going back to the place where we were staying. So he just wanted to show this beach to the child who was there with us. So he came and stopped the vehicle here, in the ambassador car. And uh, we got down and looked at the beach, and it was uh, very quiet. Not even this wave. Uh, very quiet. And it was quite back also, you know. It was very back. And very peaceful, dull looking beach. You know? There was no indication that anything is wrong. So I asked this person who was sitting and I said, what, what is happening here? So he said, the waves go back, quite back into the, uh, uh, into the sea, and then it comes up to here. It comes up to here, and then again it goes back. It's been happening from morning, it's, that's what he said. So we saw for some time, and then uh, there was this uh, boy who took pictures of the sea. And we were about to leave. I said, let's go. You know, five minutes we were standing here, that's all. And there was nothing wrong, everything was quiet. And, uh, so we were about to go back and somebody from that side shouted, look, look, there's a wave coming, you know. So right, right in the back, very right in the back. Uh, there was just one wave, just slightly, just, just like it's coming, you know. Then we saw that coming and then uh, it became bigger and bigger. So we thought, okay, the waves will come up to this point, you know, that's what we thought. And then it became bigger and bigger and bigger and then it became very huge, you know, it was like a huge wall coming, big as a tree like that, you know, a coconut tree, you know, two, three, three floor high. So it was coming very fast and then we all said, everybody started running, you know, there were a lot of people standing here, some people are sitting here, some people are... So everyone started running because we realized we cannot escape this now, it's too dangerous. And uh, the car was here, our car was standing there. And we all ran to the car, you know. Everyone is running and the wave is coming very fast, you know. It's like making all this huge sound and 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 from the top it was complete black. It was black color and uh, from the top it was having this foam, you know, white. The top it was complete white and it was dark like this, you know. It was coming like that. So we all ran, everyone ran and we, we ran to the car and before I reached the car and the family had reached just be, just behind the car. And before I reached the car, the waves come in, you know, all the entire water had come in and it hit us very strongly. And uh, I saw the car just going like that, you know, it went like this, you know, the car. And I was also gone into the water. And after that, I was drowned. So it was uh, from here, I went up to that place, you know. Uh, I don't know, it went on for a long time, you know, and then I don't know how long it went. The force of the water was too much, it was fantastic, you know. And I was uh, feeling, wow, what a power, you know. And I think I went this side, you know. One doesn't know what is there, but just going, 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 going for a long time. And, uh, and after a point, I couldn't hold my breath, you know. It was like too difficult. I thought, this is the end, you know. You know? Now I can't do anything. So it looks like this is the death. So, because if you breathe, you're gone. And, and you're rolling, rolling, rolling inside. And, uh, and just when I thought I'm going to give up, you know, my head came up like that, you know, from the water. And I think I, re I must have surfaced somewhere there in the back, very far back, you know, about 300, 400 meters inside. And, uh, and then the moment I came up, I couldn't stop myself because the water now again going, all this water is going back. And it's pulling everything, you know, just pulling everything and then it's going back, you know, full force. And uh, so I came back from that side up to here, you know, almost like 200 meters I must have come again, back. With, I couldn't stop myself, it was coming very fast. The trees, all the bushes, everything coming with me, you know. And then I stopped myself somewhere there, I think. I'm not sure, I think there I think I stopped. And I used a pole and then one tree I found and then I stopped myself. That's how it was. And then I looked and then the sea had gone back, just gone back. And the whole place was complete shattered, water everywhere, and all these ditches and holes everywhere there was water. And, uh, and then I, my body, I looked at my body, you know, I, I, there was no injury in my body. Everything looked normal, you know, and I was surprised. 
because I thought something must have damaged and uh, because such a force you went back and uh, but I was lucky and uh, my head didn't get damaged and uh, no injury on the body just uh, just a little bit here that's it This whole place was full of water. I think I came up to this point. And then walked back all the way. You know? And if, when I got up from here, I thought I'm dead. You know, when I, After all this, you stopped yourself and then you, you get up. And then for a moment, I was not sure whether I'm alive or dead. You know, It was like that. It, it's very confusing. Um, you, you think maybe you, I'm thinking I'm alive. Uh, my body is already dead, gone, and my mind is thinking it's alive. So it's projecting its own image. You know? So all these things came up. You know, there was this kind of displacement. My mind became displaced. I filmed the tsunami when it came, and uh, it was difficult to film it. You know, it's like uh, you don't know where to compose, uh, whether to hold it steady and keep it like this or. And there was also people shouting around you, and uh, I was worried about the children next to me. So, I was and then the exposure was also not coming. It was very bright, so couldn't find the exposure, correct exposure. So all that was happening, and I want to see the waves also. And then I filmed it, and uh, and I ran with the camera while it was running, and I was drowned into the water while the camera was running, and somehow in my mind. I was very strong that I'm not going to leave this camera. I'm going to hold it, whatever happens. And so it became part of my body. And then it was very tight. Still, my fingers are paining, you know, the way I held it. All this, this bone, everything is paining still. I'm not able to still bend it. I held it very strong. And, and my mind was also, because of this, was concentrating a lot, you know. Um, I said, I'm going to save this camera. I'm going to save myself. I'm going to hold my breath. So, all this is complimentary. I think the camera made me think like that, or I thought like that because of the camera. So, the camera became my life savior at one, one point. So, it survived. The camera survived in my hand, but it died inside. You know, the body survived, but it died inside. And uh, the tape is, for me, the soul of the camera, you know, at that moment. that It recorded its last moments. and. Uh, and when I came back to the place where I was staying, for three days I was watching television, you know, of people dying, people with waves coming in, in Thailand, Indonesia, everywhere, in Andamans and Nicobars. And, but I didn't see anything that I filmed, you know. What I saw was something different. Suna, suna, sarabajana. Suna diya mon, suna midi kotha kichu kora hasabon. Anda maner kotha kichu suna diya mon. Anda maner loko jango. Basukure je chilo, jele rata kona deko, jalo peli te galo, abar bhore re bala khobore yelo, betar bhobone, bhumi kompo hoye galo, anda manete, kato ayelo. Jana dako, bhasi jaje galo, tara tari kore dako, khobar pathai lo, abar koli kata teke kotoi, loko jana galo, helicopteri kore, loko jana galo. Loka janke dakhoyogo, bachaite lagilo, 
কত আই রিপোর্টার গেল যে তখন আবার কত আই ডাক্তার যে গেল গেল যে তখন শোধন করা জল গো খাবাইতে লাগিল
करोड़ जल्दी बा गो जल्दी बा गो कंगो ग्रुप फोटो बनो कंगो कनो पुल कैमरा वीडियो कैमरा हैंडी कैमरा फोटो ले बोलो बड़ा कर बड़ा है हाउ विल यू टेक फोटो दिस रोल गेम या आप बैक girl who is this little girl what is your name lai song from the school ba 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 black have we got a bowl yes sir yes ba ba Yeah. 
cross, Scott. Aaron, two cross. Mmm, very good. For me, snake has to do something with transformation. Now this is so symbolically, they left here, their skin, it's turned into rock, and they've gone away. This is special beautiful. Yeah.
since yesterday you've been asking me questions in, in this uh, in this field uh, do you think that in India this, the questions that you're asking me are issues in contemporary India uh, uh, oh yeah. <laughs> Okay, okay, I should, I should, I should. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, yeah. Paper again, remove. Huh? Ah, it's a lack of paper again. Yeah. Uh, no, there are issues for me, not so much of India, but uh, there are very much issues for me. Uh, because uh, I work largely on uh, the politics of image. Uh, what the children would get in the, way. In the politics of making an image, creating an image. Yeah. I do address that very much in, in the making of the film. Uh, and it is a major preoccupation for me. Okay, what is your name? Uh, my name is Choi Or En. Ah, get this? <laughs> Choi Or En. Choi Choi Or En. Hi, Choi Or En. Choi Or En. Okay, what do you do? What do you do? You're studying? I am stu a student. Student in which place? Um, <laughs> Slurry. <laughs> Slurry. <laughs> which university? Oh, only. Pardon me. Pardon me. Uh, which subject? Ah, um, social worker. Social welfare. Social welfare. Yes. Ah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Hi. And. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, <I'm sorry. laughs> okay. What is your name? Uh, my name is Park Nisa. Here. Park Nisa. Park Yes. Mm. Okay, what is your subject? My subject is English literature. Oh. <laughs> yes. And uh, what's your age? My age is 23. 
Wie een uh, tomaat? Enough for you. Een halve? Nou, no, uh, less than that would be better. No. This will be what you get. To start with, hè? Yeah. The snake charmer sitting here. 
Tell the best. Hey, sorry. See ya. Enjoy your snakes. Right. See ya. What the? Come here. For another snake. Say what you are thinking. You know what you are saying. You say what you are thinking. You no, know what you are saying. You say what you are thinking. You say what you are thinking. You know what you are saying? You know what you are saying? You know what you are saying? You say what you are thinking. You know what you are saying? You say. You say what you are thinking. You say what you are thinking. saying you say what you are thinking you know what you are saying you say what you are thinking In the oh God! <laughs> then you have all these mosses also. <laughs> slow shutter speed is now being banned from. <laughs> slow shutter speed is banned. Out of focus is banned. Passing countryside shots are banned for last two years. perception of how real I feel about myself actually just seriously varies all the time. Maybe because sometimes you are doing something that doesn't have a reference uh, or is not visible to the world or is not acceptable to the world. You know, it's like your factual coordinates, who you are, where you come from, what is your father's name, your mother's name, where did you study, how old you are, what's your address. Who you are, where you come from, what is your father's name, your mother's name, where did you study, how old you are, what's your address.
What is your father's name, your mother's name, where did you study, how old you are, what's your address? Where did you study, how old you are, what's your address, what's your address? Who you are, where you come from, what is your father's name, your mother's name, where did you study, how old you are, what's your address? All these things uh, kind of, uh, you know, come together to define you as what is real. Uh, but it's, it's probably what you are unsure of, it's probably what your fantasies are. Uh, which are probably more real and, and so the unrealness actually is more real than what is supposed to be real. Uh, half the time you are you know, looking at, at your past, trying to figure out what you are going to do. So then what kind of a reality is that, you know, because you keep looking at how what you did before, what you did before. So then what kind of a reality is that, you know, because you keep looking at how what you did before. And how do you actually negotiate past, present and future? And, and in and how do you see time and actually uh, if you maybe to answer more precisely then I would say that you sometimes suddenly find that an image uh, contains time like like I always you know like I say like in in, in Nagaland I mean you, you you spend so much time and then suddenly you know, the, the lady, the, the woman who's there, she says that, you know, this is the window from where we saw. And in some senses, you realize that it's the window that, that is critical to the story. And you realize that the window will come again and again and again and again. And so that's, uh, you know, your, your image of, of that story. And that is real. And it contains so much. It's the window from where she will tell her child what happened. So it's going to happen in the future. It exists in the future. It's a, something that happened 30 years ago, but is being told today and it will be told tomorrow. So uh, suddenly that particular window from where you could see them take auntie naked down the street uh, is, uh, is probably the most important image in that space. Do you want some tea, Ramni? No, no. Look up. So, Tripura and Mudra, you get your makeup done after this. Yeah, okay. Okay. Look at me, Mudra. Yeah. Yeah. 
It's a kind of a strange ethnography of the South Indian woman because the project is about images of uh, uh, South Indian women. But it's obviously, you know, that it's not, it can be mythical characters or goddesses or it can be anything. Like, you know, we've, we've chosen very uh, different and strange kind of images, but we're really playing on these uh, native types. Look, uh, uh, Ramani, basically we have an original. This is the first uh, shoot that we did. It's an old photograph of uh, one of Jalita's films. But they're also very specifically particular and eccentric. Then, uh, this is a print of uh, Ravi Varma. This is one of the variations where it became a popular photograph. But we've got many, many, many variations. I've cooked lots of vegetarian stuff because of you, Ramani. Hello, one second. Just stop. Yeah, officially people can eat. Yeah, hey, that's my boss. <laughs> Soft focus so that everything looks good. He's shooting. Ruby, this, is your, second, <laughs> this is your second film, no? As an actor? Ramani will the make a film out of anything. And the camera? <laughs> mm -hmm. Sorry. 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 Serious women. Okay. 
கெட்டது எதுன்னு அறியாத ஒண்ணுங்க I think FTI basically I think has given film making a dignity. Among the few film institutes in the world which has so much hardware in one place, which has uh, so much access to all the equipment in one place. For me, uh, I mean that's one of the most creative moments in my life, you know. I came here in October 1963 and my work was very, very <coughs> poignant. Uh, working out the structure of the classics which I thought was very fundamental to learning and relating to the techniques of the cinema as the students were learning in different times. 20 years I worked here and I retired in uh, 1983.
Play with, play with that pair, one leaf or something. One leaf? Yeah, that one. Where? That one. Yeah. You want yeah. me to take it? Yeah. And to play with it? Yeah. Mm. Yes, okay. This one. Yeah. For me, it's a great question. It's a great necessity. Uh, it's completely necessary to 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 live with art yeah. and culture. Yeah. But it's really necessary too to eat and keep healthy and and to educate children. Yeah. So how how to to how to do how to how to to live in that contradiction mm. uh, so uh, with your film i was completely in that question okay what can we do <laughs> have you the answer yeah it's a, we have to do the same thing that's all this what we are doing is correct yeah yeah that's all nothing else to do not, nothing else to do. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> to live, live, and uh, live each, with the contradiction. Yes. Yeah. And each day, each and day. And face the contradiction yeah. and accept the contradiction. Accept. Yeah. Accept it. Uh, no need to fight with it. Yes. So just accept the contradiction. Yes. Yeah. And live each day. Um, do something. Just. Uh, just like that. Yeah. Just, just knowing it's a contradiction and leaving it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think so. But some days it's very, very hard, isn't? Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah, it is. But that is still. Not for you. Uh, but that, that you accept it. So uh, it's not hard. Ah. It's, uh, it's, it's good to be hard also. It's we good can, to be hard. Yeah. Ah yes. Yes. Perhaps. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's possible. Yeah. Because that's the only way to deal with it, because yeah. you have to accept the contradiction and you have to accept it totally. And, uh, so. mm, but, but perhaps it's um, uh, accepting that contradiction, it's just uh, accepting being human, perhaps. Yeah. I don't know, but yeah. perhaps it's... It's like, just like you accept the weather, you accept this. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Mm. Just accept it. Yes. And uh, yeah, there is quality way. <laughs> you you, go? you yeah, must go? I must go. <laughs> so... Okay, I just want to mean it's time for join. Okay, thank you very much. Huh? I really have to go because this car is waiting, is this? Okay. Yeah. So, um, I'm very happy to meet you. Thank you very and, uh, much. Yeah. Perhaps uh, uh, later you yeah. come back. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. Sorry, these people are waiting next to you. Hey, who are you, black man? You are sitting in the first class compartment. You don't know black men are not sitting in the first class compartment. Go! Go to the third class compartment. What are you doing? What are you doing?
Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are into the third edition of uh, this open forum being conducted as part of the second International Video Film Festival. The film somehow gets into another, another level of the whole, uh, the, the probing into the very, very uh, existence of human society, human evolution, human you know, development, everything. The film works on many layers. I mean, it, was, it is not just about, I mean, in fact, I would, a lot of places I would say that the film is not even about puppeteers. You know, it is, uh, this, uh, it is about everything in sense. It is about you. It is about me. It is about it's about everybody struggle to uh, survive and do what they want to do. I mean, it's, I mean, I'm putting pitching it almost on that level. Uh, also, it's a story about migration, about the people losing identities and uh, you know trying to retain identities. If you want to buy anything, any electronic item, it's from this market only. Even Achha, I identify it's right from uh, St. Joseph's College, Lesne Bohri Bazaar, isn't it? Ah, that's also it's never about St. Joseph's, yeah. All these old uh, colleges and schools are around the southern area only. See, these are the cinemas. This, uh, what the three over here. Yeah. This is our equivalent of Bollywood, right? Yeah, <laughs> GG. You will only find Pakistani movies. Like Khiladi 2 Anadi. Hey, what are you doing? I'm Khiladi 2 Anadi. Mostly that, that's the case. From uh, Lahore? I'm from Lahore, I'm not from India. Oh, but you've come after many years. Many years. Okay. Hello, Hello. Hello. First time First time First time First time First <laughs> Using handy will be better. Works. Turn it around. Ramani is here with us today, and unfortunately we have we don't have time for a Q&A session afterwards, but I would like you to know what he looks like, so in the street you can say hello. Uh, Ramani? <laughs> Ramani came from Madras today with his son. His son, Karun, is 11 years old, so you can also talk to, to Karun, ask his opinion about his father. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Very well. Ah. <laughs> 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 Thank you.
<laughs> Give me your best expression. Not like that. Smart. No. Like the way Karun looks. That's how he looks. Yeah, how I look. Uh, I don't look at the mirror so many times. Weird. Yeah. Weird. Yeah. You just have to email all of our skills from this. Yeah. Suddenly getting cold. Yeah. Look at that! 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 Look at arriving at the Tokyo Terminal. Please be sure to take all your belongings with you. Thank you for traveling with us, and we look forward to serving you again. That's the fifth one. Fastest. Thank you. You're an 11, but the fastest. That's fastest. That, that one I saw, that was the fastest. That was the best. This is the That's why one. I told you to take a video of that. No, I don't want to do that. That one I kept on saying was the fastest long back I kept on at the second bus. Camera. Mama, I'm not going to I'm not sure if you're a good guy. I'm not sure if you're a good guy. I'm not sure if you're a good 
He is Sundar Ramaswamy. Uh, he is a writer uh, who is having his uh, 50th anniversary, marriage anniversary function. And I like him very much. So, and I am also planning to make a film on him. You know? So that's why I went actually. And uh, I was filming on the day in his house. And uh, so we went to the beach the next day, myself and one more family. This person behind me, he is Setu Raman. He is uh, Setu Raman. He died in the tsunami. So he is Akila's uh, father. So this girl also died. That's uh, Akila, his daughter, her daughter. So he died, she died, she died. So I'm very uh, disturbed with the child, you know, uh, the small child. I mean, she's the one who, who, who affects me a lot, you know, the small child. I don't know. My question is pertaining the cinematographer who goes for the act. Do you, do you, when I come to a very, very, very predictable location like this to relook into that incident, it may not be the same place. But as a cinematographer, do you, do you still have that feeling that uh, something is going to surprise you in terms of image gathering when you go, or you think uh, uh, you, you you have taken a new stance in terms of looking at images because there's this idea that you've shot something and uh, 
the image is no more there like what you were trying to say uh, in fact when this uh, when i was filming my entire hope was that the mo the moment when the waves hit me yeah. that was the moment i was looking at you know i was wanting to have that image you know mm -hmm. not so much about what i film but what i am not able to film and that that character is what i was uh, hoping to get from that footage the inability to film something and the failure to film something is what is that that is an image for me you know and i give you my camera yeah can you can you frame an image for me yeah why not <laughs> you said frame an image <laughs> we go down yeah sorry
ரமணி <laughs> 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 <laughs>